Automated trading system is a very popular trading system that allows traders to establish specific rules for both trade entries and exits that, once programmed, can be automatically executed via a computer. Within the last few decades, thousands of such robots were made by different trading platforms. And Dbot is one of them which is quite new in terms of its name and fame. So, as we have promised to make a video on how you can build a bot on the Dbot review video, here we are. Today we are going to discuss all the small parts of Dbot and make a basic bot and see how it helps to make us some money. Let's get started. First of all let's discuss, what is Dbot? And why use it? As you may already be aware, Dbot is a trading robot offered by the Deriv Broker platform. In a word, using Dbot to develop your trading bot involves connecting blocks, much like bricks. Each block holds specific trading instructions, and all you have to do to build your strategy and attach crucial info to each other by assigning values where necessary. Now, you may ask, why do I have to give the instructions to Dbot? Why can't I manually place trades online? Well, if you've had any experience of trading, you know that occasionally a small timing error can result in significant losses. We cannot always be so accurate since we are human. Therefore, why not utilize auto-trading robots? You can save time, energy, and money all at once with automation. There are a lot more such benefits. Now let's start with the mandatory blocks that you will need to set up on Dbot. You will see the Dbot's workspace with four preset blocks in it once you log into your Driv account and choose Dbot from the platform selection in the top left corner. There are three mandatory and one optional blocks in this workspace. The mandatory blocks are necessary for your trading bot to function, while the optional blocks provide you the chance to improve your trading methodology. Here, we'll go over each preset block and describe how you can alter it to execute your very first custom trade on Dbot. Trade Parameter Trade Parameters is the first mandatory block, and you can find it under the Set Up Your Trade tab. Here, you have to choose the market and asset you want to trade on. You will find four types of markets, including synthetic indexes, forex, stock indexes, and commodities, with multiple assets. Next, choose your desired trade type, from up down to only ups or only downs, if you want to trade options. Alternatively, you can select multipliers. Some trade types are offered in a few variations. For example, the in-out trade has ends between and ends outside, or stays between and goes outside options. Make sure to check this section too, and select your preferred variation. Your next step is to decide which contract type you want. It will depend on the trade type you have chosen beforehand. Candle interval refers to the time period that represents each candle. Each bar has four important properties, open price and close price are the first and the last price of the candle time interval. High and low prices are the highest and the lowest prices of the underlying asset during the candle time interval. This option lets your bot know whether you wanted to buy or sell a contract if this action was interrupted due to some error. And this one lets your bot know whether you want it to restart your last trade if it was interrupted due to some error. When you launch your bot, the instructions specified in this section are only run once, they are not repeated each time a new deal is made. You can add some other settings here, such as a custom text notification, although doing so is optional and necessitates some technical knowledge. You must include the crucial transaction criteria in this block, such as the desired trade duration and stake amount if you are trading options. You must include a multiplier value, a stake amount, a take profit amount, and a stop loss amount when using the multiplier's trade type. Secondly, Purchase Condition. The most crucial block is the purchase conditions since it instructs your bot when to execute your trade. Choose the type of contract you wish to purchase from the drop-down menu to establish this block for a straightforward strategy. You'll eventually be able to assist your bot in making more difficult judgments. For instance, tell it to purchase a contract only when the price reaches a specific level. 
Thirdly, restart trading condition. You can instruct your bot to either keep trading or to stop by using this block. The settings for your next trade can also be changed, and stop loss and take profit orders can be placed. You may now leave it empty. Your trading bot is ready to execute transactions for you once you have configured these three necessary blocks. The run button next to your balance indicator in the upper right corner of your screen can be used to activate it. Keep in mind that after you run your bot, the trade you specified will repeat itself endlessly unless you manually stop it by pressing the stop button. Your bot won't perform a new deal if you stop it before the existing trade is closed, instead, it will wait until its duration is up. Finally you'll get another optional block, namely sell condition. The extra block known as sell condition can be used to fine-tune your trading strategy and incorporate new variables. You can sell your trades at the market price before the term of the contract expires by using the sell conditions block. The selling availability of this block is likewise based on the contract's term and the state of the market, thus it cannot be used with tech contracts. The optional section can be left empty or eliminated from your workspace if all you're doing is setting up a straightforward plan. With just the three necessary blocks, your bot is ready to start. Automation is the best thing that you can do, while trading to get the maximum output, if you know how to run the bot. Hope, you've got how to set a basic bot in dbot with this video. If you don't, then make sure to watch it again, so that you can understand the advanced settings, that we will discuss in our upcoming video. Thanks for watching.